Do you want to be able to resize your text, pictures, and anything you want to without multiple lines of CSS, media queries, and all of that other junk? You want to do it in one line easy? Well, watch this video. I got the solution for you. Okay, so the problem at hand is that I have text right here. This is a long header tag, and it says, this is some text I want to make responsive in a really easy manner because I don't have time for CSS. Even front-end developers will tell you they don't have time for CSS. Maybe that's probably just me when I have a tight deadline. But as we can see here, this is okay as we expand this out, but as it comes really small right here, that sucks. That's a really crappy end user experience. So how do we make it better? And how do we do it in a simple manner? Well, we're gonna come up in here and we're gonna do this. So what we see right here is that we're using the clamp function. There's no media queries, there's no min, max, multiple just you know lines of instructions in here it's one thing so it will never get smaller than 16 it'll never get bigger than 100 pixels and we're using this relative unit in here which is going to be about five percent of whatever the given viewport is at a given time so five five percent ten ten percent you kind of want to gauge on what's best for you i don't think you have to sit down and actually do the math but this is just kind of saying give me this integers values percentage of what the viewport is for the width and if it's over 100 it will not go above 100 because you have these limiters right here so we can see that we already have this class with clampify text let's save and see this work so as we see as we move it on over to a bigger viewport here it gets much 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 bigger and as we move it to a much smaller viewing size for your mobile users it's really tiny and this is pretty cool. And this is how clamp works. Now, let's go see how it works with images. So now in this section, what we see is we have this heading tag here. My dog's name is burning. He wants some treats. But we have a very, very large image we're bringing in. Now, keep in mind that sometimes when you're serving up images, you don't want to always resize on the fly. Maybe you want a couple of these photos available in different sizes so you can load them quicker depending upon the screen size at hand. But for this method here, since we're using clamp, it is just as easy to manipulate the width or the size of the photo as it is the font size of the H1 tag. And it's done the same way up above in Clampify text as we're going to do down below. So now that we're looking at this, we're not seeing much of a change here, and that's kind of weird. So why is that? And so as we look in here, we could see, well, okay, there's the 5VW, the smallest is this, that, but I'm showing you something else that you need to keep in mind, that font size is copy and pasted from here, and this is just a one-liner, but to anyone looking to make any, I want to say shortcuts, but do things easier, always be sure to get copy and paste and then change immediately afterward. So let's switch this up to width. And we see that he's really, really, really tiny. We don't want him to be tiny. He's a 10 pound dog. He's tiny in real life. He doesn't need to be tiny on our website. But as we see, as we expand him on out, he's not really growing a whole lot. And that's because we need to pay extra special attention to this relative unit here. So if we bump this up to 70% of whatever the width is gonna be of our viewport here and we save it, we can see that the change is much more noticeable. And so even if we wanted to come down here and give them 75 pixels, we could see that not only can we do this with text, and not only with images, you could do it with just about anything else you want to, and that's the power of using Clamp.